Ayo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude Chris from YouTube, and welcome back. Welcome? Wow. And welcome back. I just woke up. I'm so sorry. And welcome back to At Dead of Night. I, it was between this and Supermarket Simulator. I'm really flipping between the two, but priorities. This is gonna be a longer series than Super, I, honestly, they might be the same link because I really want to get back to that game. Uh, in the previous video, we met Amy, the little girl who, or I guess first we met Maya, the main character who was supposed to be going to this hotel uh, with some of her friends, but it's like late at night. So that's why they decided to stop at a hotel, uh, but her friends like ditched her or whatever. They're not great people at all. And so they end up getting it from John, Jimmy, Johnny, Jimmy, Jimbo. Now we have to escape from him, but there's also a dark past that he's got. He murdered a bunch of people in this hotel and Amy is one of these, is a little girl. Without further ado, I'm right of this shit. So if I consult with my found items, we have a dangerous heater, violent drawing, sword, turpentine and lighter, whiskey bottle, chef's hat, child's purse, coil of wire, wedding ring, diazepam, trophies, bloodstained cloth, suitcase. Uh, we also have a compass. We have the ghost thingy, the ghost communicator, the scrying mirror, and we have all these sightings here. I do not remember where we're supposed to go, though. So I'm going to go ahead and use the scrying mirror because... I don't recall at all what happened. So this is Amy. That's our crying child. So we need to go to the third floor now. And that's Dr. Bose. I'm Dr. Bose. And I think his story, oh, I'm getting it. Okay, why does my voice keep cracking? What the fuck? So Amy's story continues on the third floor and Dr. Bose's story continues on the first floor. Oops, I didn't mean to hide in the bathroom. What the fuck was that? Jimmy! What if this game tracked your mic? That shit would be wild. I also do have my list of, um, oh my God. I do have my list of rooms that I have not checked yet, uh, pulled up on my phone. Okay, 219 had nothing. So this is what I was doing last video, if you haven't seen it. I was basically checking all of the rooms that I could get into because I'm gonna end up forgetting. Like if I don't, if I don't write down what rooms. Yeah, 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 whatever. If I don't end up writing down what rooms I've already checked and uh, like what they have in them, I'm going to have no idea. Like if he steals my compass, I have a bunch of rooms on each floor that I found that have compasses or come by compass eyes. But I have a better understanding of how to play this game now than I did the first video. So it definitely shouldn't take me as long to make progress. <laughs> Definitely shouldn't take me as long to make some progress this time. Okay. So we found a washing line and a roller pin. 220 checked. I want to find the key for floor two. The stairs. So here's the thing about this section. This corner of the hallway. Is if he comes down here and checks... Like if I call out to him, he is either going to try to get in here or he's either going to try to get in here because he can't go to the left. He can't go this way. He only has to turn around. But what is this door here? What is? No, you don't. Shut the fuck up. What is this door? Neither of these doors have numbers on them. I just realized that. Come on, Jimmy. Show daddy what he's missing. <laughs> Yo, what is wrong with me? I'm here. 
My I love that line of dialogue. I don't know why. My <laughs> I need to know that he is not in the hallway. He sounds really close, but I can't leave the room because if I do, I know I'm going to die. Or I guess not die, but get the shit beaten out of me. And then I have my ghost detector stolen from me. Sure you do. If you know that I'm here, come get me. Until then, your talk is cheap, buddy. There we go. There we go. He kind of looked like John Cena for a second. <laughs> he kind of looked like John Cena for a second. There's a 222 and a 223. Oh my goodness. Found a scrying mirror. Yes! 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 Oh, fuck yeah! <sighs> okay. So I'm going to note the 223 has a scrying mirror. I now have the key for... He sounds far away, so I think I'm just gonna go down the hall. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Who's next? Scrap of newspaper articles. Jimmy! Come on, do your little thing. See, look, he kind of looks like John Cena. You can't tell me that he doesn't. God. Despite me knowing the best ways to avoid him and how his, like, movements work, I'm still terrified. I think it's more so of the fact that, like, I don't want to lose my stuff rather than, like, I don't want to get jump scared. Because the jump scare is unexpected for sure, but I just would rather not lose my shit. Because so far, he's only taken the um, the communication device. And I want to keep it that way. Uh, uh, he's... Go! 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 Woo! That's what I'm talking about! Okay, I definitely did not check all the floors on stair two, but I'm gonna go back down to stair one because he's on stair two, or I'm gonna go back down to floor one because he's on floor two. And it would just be easier for me if I... Fuck, where are my notes? Okay, all right. I basically checked every room on this floor. Is this the room? No. Hey! No! This isn't the room, is it? One twelve. This might be our room. Prepare for jump scares. Prepare for jump scares. No? Amy? Is anyone there? My compass lied to me. Well, he's definitely on this floor now. He wasn't before. Is anyone there? What the hell? Oh, wait, wait. Amy's story is on the third floor. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was down here looking for Amy. 
Dr. Bose is on this floor. But where? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I'm just going to leave the room. I'm going to go. 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 Oh, fuck. Oh! I thought I was in the storeroom area by the elevators. I thought I was in the storeroom area by the elevators. Hi. 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 Bye. Don't come back. Bro, I just want to take the elevators. 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 I was not having it. I was not having it. But I did see the lights flicker. I need to be in the stairs, don't I? I need to be in the stairs. Is it Amy? Hello? Hi, Amy. I missed it, you. What do you mean Amy didn't have an answer? I haven't asked about, oh. Is it Amy? I forgot that's the thing I have to do. Verify the ghost. I saw you at the top of the stairs, on the banister. What were you doing? I felt really light. I really thought I could jump down to the bottom. Oh. Someone there. So Jimmy got her drunk. She went to the stairs and thought that she was Superman. She believed she could fly. No R. Kelly. <laughs> oh boy. I'm going to take the elevators up to three so that I can continue um, my search while he's still on the other floors. Cause I don't think he's on the third floor yet. So 308 and 309 this way. I don't need to go that way anymore. I have checked. Three oh two has been checked. It's too dark. So what, can I just not explore this floor? Or maybe. Okay. Maybe I can, it's just too early. Because I want to get the key! But I don't know what floor he's on! We'll go to floor one. I saw the flickering lights by the stairs, I think. Or by the, the storeroom area on one. So I'm going to take the stairs up to one. And then I'm going to look around. I have a plan, just watch. Just, just watch. Watch me. We're gonna take the stairs. We're gonna go up to one. I don't know what floor he's on. Oh! Okay. 
I know what floor he's on now. It's a good thing they do that before you actually check the rooms or uh, open the door. We see 201. We haven't been this way yet. I think it's too dark still. Hack! 217 through 223. We haven't checked 222. I just want to get him on this floor, if anything. I thought I did check this room. I must not have wrote it down. Yeah, I did check this room. I didn't write it down. Damn you! So I've checked every room that I can on the second floor. I just gotta wait for him to come up to this floor. Or I could be super ballsy and just go down the stairs. I don't know like it's a chance I'm willing to take because we're on the first floor and I really have nothing to lose first floor I have nothing to lose so okay that got me that got me because I wasn't expecting it is it dr. Bose yes I'm dr. Bose I saw you holding up a dead animal on a wire what had happened? Jimmy was killing things, small birds, animals. Sounds on brand. He needed to work with his empathy skills. So I asked him to think of something nice he could do for me. I was surprised. He came up with an idea right away. We're going to ask about the Why washing was there line. A washing line tied around a rolling pin. And then we're going to do this and this. When you said Jimmy came up with an idea to do something nice for you, does that have anything to do with what you said about the washing line and rolling pin? Maybe. 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 I saw a scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? I don't think I found anything else. Um. When you said Jimmy came up with an idea to do something nice for you, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? I don't know. Ah! Ah! On the first floor, the only rooms that I haven't checked yet are 105, 116, and 117. So those could potentially have items in them that could lead me closer to whatever this is. 160. Oh my god! This is the suitcases, so I did check this room. I probably checked 117 too then. Should I have gone to the bottom of the steps to talk to continue talking to Amy? Because in the vision, she falls down the stairwell, but the conversation ends after she falls. But that didn't complete her story. I should have gone to the bottom of the stairwell. Fuck. So I'm in room one o room one o three. 
So that means 105 should be down here. 104, 105. How did I not check this room? I swear I have, and I just didn't write it down. Oh. A wooden paddle. All right, 105 has been checked. So that is every room on floor one that I have checked. It's fine, 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 it's fine. I should have known. I should have known it wasn't fine. For some reason. <gasps> he put me on the third floor. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So let me see if I can try talking to Amy. Be prepared. Okay, I did all that and I can't even communicate with her. I didn't grab my device, my communication device. Oh, this motherfucker finally took something from me. He took all my keys. Oh, he took all my keys. No. No. He took all my keys! Shit. Well, that's not good. I didn't even document what room the keys were in. I got so ahead of myself. I was like, there's no way he's gonna take my keys. I'm too good for him. So I have no idea what room the keys are in unless I double check all the rooms again. Is someone there? Hi, Amy. Is it Amy? Yes, I'm Amy. I saw you lying at the bottom of the stairs. What happened to you? I jumped, but then it all went dark and I couldn't wake up. I can't wake up anymore. I don't know where I am. Hey, I completed Amy's story. Great. Yay. So, what the hell am I supposed to do? Can I explore the second floor now? I'm gonna check the second floor. And see if the lights have turned on upstairs. Or in that one hallway to the left. Oh! They have. Okay. Let's try 201. All right, this is good. This is good for us. Found some old rusty keys. Was that a found item or okay. All right, 201 checked. And I don't think that he's on this floor yet. So we have time to dick around. What do we got in here? What do we got in here? A handgun! A handgun! Alright, he's on this floor now. But we have the stair three floor key. A 
Crossbow. Ho ho ho. 206. What do we got in 206? Oh, this is a different structured room. This is kind of nice. Found a compass. Nothing. Key for 206. Okay, 206 as a compass. Okay, okay. I found enough stuff that I could feel. I'm here. I found enough stuff that I feel I could go back to Dr. Bose with and ask him about. But I just want to be sure because I don't want to have to keep going down to floor one. Especially because I don't have the stair keys anymore. So while he is investigating floor one, trying to find me, I'm gonna ask some questions to my boy, my Dr. Bosey boy. Is anyone there? Hello. Hello. Is it Dr. Bose? Yes, I'm Dr. Bose. What are those rusty old keys for? Who does the gun belong to? Harvey owned it. I didn't like it being in the hotel. Where was the crossbow from? The hotel used to have a display of old weapons. Alright, now we can start adding to a pair. I saw Amy lying at the bottom of the stairs. What happened to her? She died! Dumb fuck? She fell down the stairs from the top floor. She was too drunk to know what she was doing. It was the reason Rose got in touch with me. What happened to Amy's parents, though? Can we just talk about that for a second? Amy's parents. When you said Jimmy came up with an idea to do something nice for you, does that have anything to do with what you said about the crossbow? When you said Jimmy came up with an idea to do something nice for you, does that have something to do with what you said about the gun? So none of these... Okay. This is what I was afraid of. Should I just check the first floor and... See if I can find that key again. So he should still be on floor two. I haven't moved around enough to alert him to any of the other floors. I wish I knew where that key was. I guess we just gotta check them all. One minute, 37 seconds later. Damn it, man. So the, oh, the stairwell key for floor one may not even be on this floor. Because that was a key for 221. It may not even be on this floor. Oh my goodness. Never mind. This feels like a really bad idea. This feels like a really bad idea. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We now have the keys for floor two, or floor four, one, and floor three. So I'm going to take the elevators down to two. Because he thinks that we're on one. Well, eight. Oh, this is stressful. Photos of smoke coming out of the hotel. There was a fire here. Jimmy Hall's comedy act. All right. 
I'm sure none of these Dr. Bose is going to have an answer for, but you know what? What do I know? I'm just a girl trying to survive in the hotel. I went into 211 by accident, but we're here. Ornate dagger and a scrying mirror. I feel good. And he's not up here yet. Baseball bats. So he was into sports. What of it? Jimmy liked sports. The 215 was checked. Um, 213 is a dark room, I think. Right? Yeah. All right. Oh, two more rooms and we will have successfully checked every room on the second floor. Compass. Ah, oh, storeroom key. Damn it! Uh, 214 is checked. Or no, it has a compass. And then we just need 216. 216 has nothing. Okay, that is every room on the second floor. So now we can go back to Dr. Bose and ask him about the stuff that we found. Ah! I didn't even know he was up here. He wasn't saying shit. I've been roaming. Ah! Wardrobe, wardrobe, wardrobe. He doesn't know that I'm in here. I've been saying shit this whole time. And and he's he's been up here. He's been up here with me. He's been up here with me this whole time. <laughs> God, fuck. fuck! No! What did he take? What did he take? He took all my keys. He took every single one of them shits. Oh my God. He took all my keys. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Well, at least he can't take my memories. At least he can't take the sightings away from me. <laughs> fuck. Jimmy, you're gonna catch these hands. It is on sight, motherfucker. Is anyone there? Hello? Is it Dr. Bose? Yes. Was there a fire at the hotel? Well, I never heard about that. So he must have died before the fire. Who is Hugo Punch? I don't know. He must have died before the Hugo Act then. Who does the dagger belong to? What were all the crickets and baseball bats for? Harvey kept them. I don't know why. Bro! <clears throat> so what the fuck? <clears throat> when you said Jimmy came up with an idea to do something nice for you, does that have something to do with what you said about the crickets and baseball bats? Don't make me use the scrying mirror. I don't want to have to use the scrying mirror. I want to be able to figure it out on my own, but like... Okay, Jimmy was killing things. I realized he needed to work on his empathy skills, so I asked him to think of something that he could do for me. He came up with an idea right away. I'm gonna use the scrying mirror. I can't, I, I don't.
the kitchen. Oh my goodness. The kitchen. The kitchen. Of course, if nothing else, I can make you a sandwich. That is the nicest thing that I can do for you is make you a sandwich. Wait, where is the kitchen? Be prepared. Be prepared to get scared. Ah! Maybe? Is someone there? I don't know. I I saw a piece of bread, so I assumed he was going to the kitchen. Where else would you go? I've checked all the rooms. I've checked everywhere. When you said Jimmy came up with an idea to do something nice for you, is that connected to what you said about the coil of wire? Oh. Oh my god. The bread, the chef's hat. Oh, okay. When you said Jimmy came up with an idea to do something nice for you, is that connected to what you said about the chef's hat? Yes. Jimmy said he'd make something for me, so I followed him to see what he was going to do. Alright, bro. Alright, bro, bro. Alright, bro, bro. This is why you pair everything that you have. Because for me, because I ended up going to different floors and searching different rooms, I ended up finding items out of order. Or I was finding things that... Alright. Be prepared to get scared. Be prepared to get scared. It's gonna be a jump scare. Not that door. Ah! Ah! This is a great idea, Jimmy. I reckon you'll make a great cook one day. Oh, why don't you bring it up to me when you're done? I'll wait for you, okay? Okay. Is it Dr. Bose? Is it Dr. Bose? That must be too far away. Ah, okay. There we go. That works. Is it Dr. Bose? I'm Dr. Bose, yes. I saw you outside the kitchen talking to Jimmy. What were you doing? Jimmy was making me a sandwich. He brought it up to my room as I asked. I didn't suspect anything was wrong at first. That bitch got poisoned. Oh, in the bloodstained cloth. When you said you didn't suspect anything was wrong, does that have something to do with it? Because he started coughing cloth? up blood after he ate the sandwich. It was my first encounter with Jimmy's sense of humor. All right. Okay, um, my compass is still going crazy. Hello? Okay. Ugh, I've been recording for a minute. Okay, let's see if we can finish out Dr. Bose's story and then go up to the third floor and see if we can figure out what's going on with Harvey, because I believe he's next. We've been hearing a lot about Harvey. Is 
it Dr. Bose? Yes, I'm Dr. Bose. I saw you spitting out blood. What happened? Jimmy had put broken glass in my sandwich. Oh. I nearly choked on it. I kept the cloth and glass so I could go to the police, but I realized I'd underestimated Jimmy's illness. I simply had to step up his treatment urgently. Um, let's see, let's pair it with, maybe we could pair it with the scrapbook? When you said you needed to step up Jimmy's treatment urgently, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? Probably not. Oh, 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 this, this, let's try this. When you said you needed to step up Jimmy's treatment urgently, does that have anything to do with what you said about the washing line and rolling pin? Damn it! Um, try this and... I don't know, man. Uh, we're just gonna try all the items because we found out from last time that if I don't try all the items that I have, I'm gonna end up searching around for nothing like a fucking idiot. All right, let's try the third floor. I need to stop recording. I'm invested. So on the third floor, we have yet to check 303 through 305. All right, before we go down there, wait, 307? Fuck, okay, fine. I'll check it. Crying mirror? Nothing. You found a handwritten note which reads goodbye. Dear mom, I'm sorry for everything. Okay. So 307 is checked. Maya! I don't know why I like that version of dialogue. Be prepared. He made it up. I'm telling you, he's been lying about everything. Probably lying about the other stuff as well. Don't be ridiculous. He wouldn't lie about something like that. You sure about that? He lies about everything. Open your bloody eyes, Rose. Ridiculous. Oh, that's right. Walk off. I'm not listening, Harley. You've just got it in for him. It's the truth. Cool. So we're gonna go ahead and meet Dr. I mean Harvey and then we're gonna end the video. I need to stop. I get way too into this game. Oh my god. Is someone there? Hello? Hi Harvey. Hello, Harvey. What's your name? I'm Harvey. Harvey. I run the place. Oh! I saw a man saying Jimmy had lied about the assault. Who was he? It was me. Jimmy had made accusations about the doctor. Rose believed him, but I'd heard that story somewhere before. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's add this. And... A scrapbook? Wait, no, let's just ask him I a bunch saw of Dr. Bose holding a Wait, dead animal. Wait, stop! Shut up! Wire. Stop! What were all the crickets and baseball bats for? Okay. In case I needed them. Oh. Who does the dagger belong to? It's not a dagger. It's a letter open. It's not supposed to be sharp. Huh! Who is Hugo Punch? I don't know. Was there a fire at the hotel? Yeah. They managed to contain it, but I lost a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Hmm. Where was the crossbow from? It was from an armory display we used to have. Jimmy was fond of it. Who does the gun belong to? It was mine. It belonged to my father. Still had a few rounds with it. 
What are those rusty old keys for? They were for the old boiler room door. Oh. Down in the basement? I saw a scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? Jimmy. He used to keep cutouts of news stories about abusive teachers and doctors. He wasn't a normal boy. He's not really a boy at all. Or maybe he's just, okay, this is after the fact, like he's grown up. Maybe? Why was there a washing line tied around a rolling pin? I don't know anything about that. Why is there an old heater marked dangerous? He was giving electric shock. I kept it so the police could check it. So with all that information, let's see. Jimmy had made accusations about the doctor. Rose believed him, but I'd heard that story somewhere else. Or somewhere before. But what would go with this? Maybe a scrapbook? When you said you'd heard the story somewhere before, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? It came straight out of it. As soon as I found that scrapbook, I knew where Jimmy had got it from. It was the same, down to every detail. Okay, this is good. This is good shit. How do I, how do I save my game? 30% of the story, let's go! We made some good progress. All right, that is all the time I'm gonna put into this video. I've been recording for almost two hours. Hopefully I can get it down to a reasonable time. You guys seem to be enjoying the first video. I had a lot of comments and a lot of likes. So I mean, I would assume that you guys are enjoying the series so far. You're enjoying the first video. Uh, we completed Amy's story. I think we're close to completing Dr. Bose's story. If we can find a couple more items on the third floor, because we have like three or four more rooms that we have to check on the third floor. And then we should be able to complete Dr. Bose's story and then continue on with Harvey's and figure out what happened to Rose. Ah! It's going to have to wait though, because I'm getting back to Supermarket Simulator. I love that game too much to just leave it behind like that. But I'm also super invested in this. So we may go back and forth. Uh, <laughs> if you want to see my last video, which was the new Chilla's art game called Shinkansen Zero. Love that one. Uh, that'll be linked somewhere around here. Please go check that one out. Go check out my other Chilla's art games too. If you want to see my last video of At Dead of Night, that'll also be linked somewhere around here. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big body out. Uh, maybe I should fall down the stairs like Amy. <laughs>